Good evening, everybody. Keith here. Hoping everybody's having a good day, enjoying life, living life, loving life. I just wanted to do a quick video to put out as a teaser for tonight's um, session on reconciling the master trust account. So please share it. The uh, Zoom starts at 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's part 14. I'll be doing them for a while. It's going to be a, a process. And... Uh, it's the process that I'm going through and researching and learning all this information to put forth to you guys so you can all come together with me and we can all do this together. Um, basically, I'm going to skip through some real quick um, pages of research here. This is what we're talking about, customer trust accounts, master trust Customer trust accounts. And when we talk about customer, we're talking about the legal entity customer. That's the that's the guy on the, uh, the Social Security card. And he goes down and talks all about it. Everything we need to know about that customer trust account. And we're also going to be talking about Article 5 of the Freedom of Transit. And this is Jurisprudence, GATT 1994, Article 5 Jurisprudence. And so we're going to put this document out there. I might do a little reading from this. Because that's what we're talking about right now. Freedom of transit. We're no longer going to deal with transportation, traffic, codes, things like that. It's freedom of transit. And when we talk about freedom of transit, we're talking about transitional credit. Transitional credit as in like the same situation for filing for bankruptcy or developing a new nation. And it's not something that happens overnight, folks. We have to establish it. This is all information that's going to teach us how to do it. UNCAD Trust Fund for Trade Facilitation Negotiations. When you're in bankruptcy, it's a confirmed plan to merge and reorganize under a new name. This is a contractual setup. It's not, it doesn't have to be a contract, but it follows contract procedures, which are negotiations, arbitrations. That's all it is, folks. And it's freedom of transit and regional transit arrangements. Region, as in United States and their territorial uh, possessions in regards to their obligations of codes for transportation, traffic, um, trade and commerce where we on the international level asserting the freedom of transit they have to have negotiations for each and every one this is done through the post office folks international trade often requires the crossing of goods across and through territory across and through territory like i mentioned we're not entering the mails we're going to go through the mail system in transit, freedom of transit, pure and simple. When we talk about transit, we're talking about the transitional central banking institution, again, transits. And we're talking today not about monetary um, commercial paper, we're talking about electronic credit transfers. In their systems, they're called transfers. 
we have freedom of transit to transit through their electronic export information systems known as automated commercial environments within the automated electronic system. We have use of the automated electronic system for freedom of transit. And just because we're going through their internet signal doesn't mean they have to, they get the ability to then declare that it's electronic export information. We're going to be talking about International Monetary Fund, International Architecture. What is architecture? Construction. Just like contractual form, we're going to start constructing the resolution of sovereign debt involving private sector creditors for freedom of transit, transitional credit for the creditors that are in transition. Recent developments, developing nations, challenges and reform options, reform options. We get to reform it according to our artistic abilities. Be creative. Know how to contract. Learn the words, terms, and conditions. And I guarantee you, you have many options. It says executive summary. Therefore, it is not a Final judgment, it's only a summary judgment, which is merely an opinion, whereas a final jump judgment is an opinion stated and so well agreed to that it, there is no controversy posted. There have been significant developments in sovereign debt restructuring architecture involving private creditors since the IMF's last stock taking in 2014. So I'll be reading a little bit of that. And bankruptcy procedures for sovereigns, a history of ideas, 1976 to 2001. I've been talking about Chapter 15 bankruptcy for a while now. And when we talk about Chapter 15 bankruptcy, we're talking about cross-border ancillary cases. And that automatically brings in the arbitration, making it contractual and also providing for the, the module rule for the United States to mandatorily cooperate because it is now involved in the international forum of which they have peace treaties to. And they're all tax treaties based on ISO codes and NIAX codes, North American Industry Classification. If you're not part of the North American industry, then you're not part of that numbering system. Very simple. Anyway, wanted to put this out there. I'm going to post my other uh, uh, forum links, and hopefully people will watch this short video and see me at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'll be posting a Zoom link. The room will open at five minutes till, and we'll discuss some more of this. See you then. Bye.